Hello folks, Dave Herbert here. Welcome to Mr. Herbert Science Class. Well today, I got my Walkera X350 and I'm going to show it to you here in a second. Now Walkera has been in business quite a long time and uh, most of you who follow my channel know that uh, I have bought a lot of Walkera quadcopters because they've been in the business a long time. For example, the, uh, the first one of course was the Ladybird, the Pocket Quads, I've got a lot of different quads, the octocopter, all from Walkera, and uh, so I have pretty good faith. I've been waiting a long time for this 350 from Blade, but uh, in fact paid for it a long time ago. Never came in. So when I got an ad from Hobby King and they said they had this 350, I thought I gotta look at it. Well, here's what what we've got. I'm going to show you inside the box. It came with a quick start guide. So, we definitely want to read that. Uh, this is for the uh, transmitter and this is for the actual uh, bird itself. It came with the Devo 7. I, I just love the uh, the throttles control stick movement on Walkera radios. They're just really beautiful. Here's the battery. Um, I don't know what the milliamp is. It doesn't say on there anyway anywhere. I don't like those connectors. I don't have a single thing to plug it into. Thankfully it came. In fact, the only way to charge this is through the connector and the charger that came with it is one of these with an adapter and uh, for all different uh, brands of electricity that you have. There is actually a complete set of props and a complete second set of props. Landing gears here, spinners, got beautiful aluminum spinners. I mean, everything just looks really well built. And let's take a look at the machine itself. Oh, that's really hot looking. Jeez, it's got the same kind of lights and stuff that's on the DJI. Well, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, still, not the cheapest in the world, but cheaper than the DJI. This must be where the battery goes. We've got dual antenna wires out the back here. Oh, I guess one way you could compass. And uh, that's what it comes to, I'm sure. Well, let's put it together and charge a battery and see what, what it does. Note the uh, units have the direction the propellers marked on them, and also the propellers have the directions marked on them. Put the landing gear with the compass on this side, and uh, this is nice. It's just uh, screw on with these thrum screws. The landing gear. Um, also has rubber balls on the end so that uh, will grip the surface and uh, should work pretty good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's nice. Boy, that's just smooth. I mounted a camera like this so I can get proper CG. Fly this today. Put the camera on the bottom. I'm waiting for my other 350. This is a 350 class. My blade has not arrived yet. The blade 
350X. This is an XQR from uh, Walkera. I got a lot of stuff from Walkera. So we're gonna plug this in and let this set up. There's a green clinking light here as it's aligning itself for the top. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in the compass mode. Okay, to do that, you go to full left throttle and down. This puts it in the compass mode. Now, turn it this way. Let it set until this light goes out and we'll be all set. Throttle back down. Okay. I'm going to put it in the come home mode, down. Let's see what happens. Hands off in the come home mode. Fighting the wind, but it is coming down. Coming over to the top of the car. You can see the cone there. I'd say it's cutting pretty close. Wow! In this wind, I would say that's pretty doggone amazing. I like it. Okay, heart's pounding. Shut it off. Throw the switch back. That's great.